Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about smart lists within Apple Reminders. If you're not familiar with Apple Reminders, it's the to-do or task management app that's already on your iPhone, your iPad, and your MacBook. Smart lists are not necessarily a list, but it's actually a filtering mechanism to filter your current list and find alternative ways to look at the tasks that you have at hand. So today we're gonna to talk about how to build smart lists, why they're valuable, and a couple of my favorites. So let's get into it. All right, here we are. We are inside of Apple Reminders and I'm going to create a smart list. So to do this, I will click Add List. We're gonna change this list type here from standard to a smart list. There's quite a handful of different filters that you can use. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight a few of them that I think are gonna be the most valuable for you. So we will just name this smart list and I'm not gonna worry about changing the icon type, but you can easily do that by selecting a color, choosing a different icon and going there. But what you'll do is you'll click on edit filters and you see we've got a handful of them. You can choose whether or not you wanna use all filters or any of the filters. Basically, do you want it to stack all these filters together to create your list? Or do you want it to choose whether or not it adheres to any of the filters and then shows that list? Typically, you're gonna to wanna to use all. So here you've got hashtags. So you have the ability to add hashtags to tasks. I personally don't really use those, but let's say you tag work tasks with hashtag work. You could create a list that shows just hashtag work tags. So you could do a specific selected tag right there. The next filter is date. Now this is arguably one of the most important filters that you're going to be using for smart filters. The reason why this is so important is you can choose a specific day. So you could choose today or you could choose February 10th or after February 10th or as an example like that. But where this becomes really important is relative range where you can select a certain number of days or hours or minutes ahead or behind you. This is gonna be important because this is how you create filters for the week ahead or the month ahead or tasks that you completed within the last week. Here, within time, you can choose morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Those typically apply to the today filter that Apple has by default in your Apple Reminders. Next up, you've got location. So if we dive in here and we click a specific location, you'll see that it actually pulls in your home address, which is pulled from Apple Maps or your contact card. It can also use your current location or when you are getting in or out of your car. So maybe you have a specific habit or a task that you need to do when you show up to a specific place. That's where you would use the location smart filter there. I don't tend to use flagging or priority in my Apple reminders, but I think the last filter here is gonna be important for those of you who are going to create smart filters here. You have the ability to add lists, either include them or exclude them. So for some people, maybe you have a daily habits checklist. You may want to exclude that from a specific filter that you are using. You may also want to include a specific filter. One of the interesting limitations about the lists filter is the fact that it limits you on what you can and can't filter, which is a little bit of a bummer. Just to show you an example, if we click exclude, and I pull up my lists, you can see personal or habits or freelance. I can't actually select multiple lists. I can only exclude one. That's kind of a bummer. I would ideally like to be able to select multiple lists that I could exclude or include. So now that we've walked through the types of filters that you can use for smart lists, let's talk about the three smart lists that I use every day that actually make great widgets for your iPhone, iPad, or MacBook. The first list I'm gonna create is a someday smart list. So this is a list that's going to search through all of my tasks across all of my lists, and it's gonna find tasks that do not have a specified date. The reason why this is valuable or important is let's say you've got a block of time that's free and you need to see some of the tasks that you could do. You could click the someday list and see what things could you, could you maybe get done during that time frame. So we will click add list. We're gonna call this someday. I'm gonna turn it into a purple backpack and we'll click smart list. From there, I will click edit filters. We'll click date and I'm gonna set this to no date. 
So what this means, it's gonna go across all of my lists and look for tasks that don't have an assigned duty and have them populate here. Once I click done, click done one more time, you'll see I've got my Sunday smart list here and I've got three tasks in here. So it's basically filtering through these other five or six lists and it's finding the ones that I have not assigned a date to. It's easy to go in here and then go and tag them with the date or just check them off right then and there. The next smart list I'm gonna build is for this week. This is a great widget to have on your iPhone or iPad screen and see what tasks you have coming up within the next few days, but don't necessarily need to take action on immediately. So to get started, I'm gonna click add list. I'm gonna call it this week. Let's assign a color and that will click smart list and we will edit the filters. Now here we're gonna be using the date filter and we're gonna use one of our relative ranges. Now, another kind of con here to Apple reminders, you don't actually have a way to set a specific week, meaning look at my tasks for Monday through Friday or Sunday through Saturday. Unfortunately, you can only set a specific date window or a week window. So regardless of how you wanna do it, and maybe you want to set it as in the next seven days or the next five days, or you want to set it as the next one week. Those are both options, but that's just going to give you the next seven days rather than what is actually on this one calendar week. So that's a little bit of a bummer. I can't make it perfect, but this does tend to work for me. So the way how I do it is I set it for the next five days and I include past new reminders and then I click done. Then we'll click done while I'm here. There you go. We have got our this week list. I'm going to create one last final list for tasks to do tomorrow. So to do that, I'm going to click add lists. I will name it as tomorrow. We'll give it a color. We'll click smart list. We will click edit filters and we will click date. And we're going to add relative range and we're going to click in the next one day it will include past reminders maybe i want to take this one step further and only include tasks from a specific list maybe for work or something like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to scroll down and grab another one so i'm going to click lists i'm going to include and i'm only going to grab from my freelance list so now i've got two different filters acting here I'm going to go up top, make sure that it is including all and not any. So now when I click done, maybe we'll change this to say tomorrow's work instead. And we'll click done. So now it's going to search for all tasks in the next one day or past due, but it's also only pulling from my freelance list. So that is the basics of smart lists in Apple Reminders. It's a relatively simple way to create new views into the regular tasks that you have. These also work great as widgets on your iPhone home screen. It's a quick, simple way to scroll through your tasks and see what's due today or this week or something you have to do at work. That's my personal favorite use of it. So I hope you'll try out these smart lists within Apple Reminders this week. If you try something or you find something unique or fun, let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one.